Tote Road here in Medina, Ohio, and it is Christmas in July. That's right, Christmas in July. I brought with me Uncle Heavy, <laughs> the Grinch himself. Bah humbug. <laughs> Yeah, no, road here, and I'm with who Mark Claus. Mark Claus, that can't be a real It name. is my real name. I was born with it. Was he your birth certificate? Yeah, I have no birth certificate, but I got a driver's license that says that. <laughs> uh, yep. Now, I was born with that name, and because our family was such a big Christmas family, uh, you know, this just kind of went from my dad being this over the top Christmas guy that people always thought was amazing, and then we went with this giant version you of that 40,000. No, he was, <laughs> he's the reason this is here is because. My dad had such a great spirit, my mom, and when, that's why when you walk through the door in the first area, you hear the old Polish Christmas music, yeah. which was what my dad had to have on when he would decorate the tree. And even though when I was a kid, I didn't know the words, you know, as an adult, when I went out to try to find that, because that record had somehow gotten lost, and when I finally found the one, and I put it on, it was so amazing to like, all them flood of feelings from being a kid yeah. came right back. That's why it plays every I think door. that's what this place is kind of about, just bringing back your childhood. Yeah, it's about making everybody a kid. Right. And uh, you know, we just were talking about Toyland and the reason like people go, well, why don't you do it in decades or something like that? I'm like, no, no, we have thousands and thousands of toys and they're all mashed together. So that if you're standing there with your grandpa and your little kids you and your so wife, everybody goes, I saw, I had that, I had that, I had that. <laughs> we had a lot so, of that. Good. Yeah. Even yeah. He had stuff even this old guy had. It's yeah, cool, see, right? see. Like he grew up in the uh, 30s. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't know. He had the impression you were 45. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. That's what I don't time think I've so. made fun of him. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't believe that. <laughs> what are you talking about? I just Why don't. Why would I make fun of him? I'm having a hard time <laughs> to believe that. Is it the first time? Was that? Was that the first time he ever made fun of me? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, I'm getting a bad rap here. <laughs> but with this, uh, was it 10th year anniversary? 10 year anniversary, yeah. Yeah, always. And we're working like every day to make yeah, it cooler. Yeah, knocking down walls and yeah. making stuff bigger. Yeah. Like we were here two years ago. Uh huh. Diff oh, yeah. Well, because I work on it every day. It's yeah. my big art project. Yeah, we got you working. In yeah, it gives me a chance to, you know make cool new stuff so what can we expect next year wow we're we're doing there's lots of big projects uh right behind that door is the polar bear club it's uh arctic themed entertainment nightclub for adults oh, that okay. you can uh you'll get a drink in there all sorts of cool stuff but there's a story and entertainment that happens to you and and it's uh, turn of the century alaska right behind that door nice. and uh, all sorts of great stuff happens to you in there and uh, we're working on more things in the mini golf is working on building that to be more of a sci-fi museum, the world's only play-through sci-fi museum. Right now you can go down there and see the B-9 robot from Lost in Space. Yeah. You can see the Slee Stack from Land of the Lost who comes at you. Uh, there's uh, Lorflin Belly's belly, I, <laughs> Men in Black Aliens, and John Candy's uh, space suit from, from Spaceballs. I got tons and tons of that stuff that has to go in there. And eventually there's a tiki bar coming. And uh, there's also, I bought something last year that was really cool. It was a virtual sleigh ride. So people could like get oh, on this sleigh yeah, and take yeah. a ride, right? And they told me it would fit in the building when I bought it. And now we find out it doesn't fit in the building. So I have to have an excavator come, dig down, blow a hole in my lower <laughs> level. And we're gonna do it all in one day. We're gonna blow a hole in the wall. We're gonna move this thing on a, on a machine into the room. And then we're gonna block the wall back up before the nighttime. So can I get a first, uh, ride on this? Yeah, come on in. Uh, can I make reservations? Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. And what I hear about a Cousin Eddie bar. Too. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, outside the patio bar is going to be awesome with Cousin Eddie's motorhome right there under the giant pavilion. Yeah. We got a stage so we could have luau's in the summer, all this really cool stuff. I want the coolest patio you've ever seen in your life. That's why there's a waterfall going in and all this other cool stuff. Yeah. So I got to come back again. Over and, and over. Again. And and over. Again. Well, and yeah, you know, the whole thing is about coming and having fun. Yeah. And uh, and bringing someone who hadn't been here before with you. Yeah, everybody does that. And very soon it looks like we're going to have uh, a nice place to stay uh, so that you can enjoy coming to town and spending the evening. Because I think directly across the street we're going to have a hotel. Oh, awesome. Uh, some man. folks that I'm uh, friends with are working on that project right now. And it's really cool. So we're excited about that. Uh, yeah, just keep making it bigger and more fun every day. Awesome. Appreciate it, Mr. Claus. Yep. Am I on the naughty list? Or well, you're I right on the line. Yeah. You're right. You Don't were, ask her about You were leaning way. towards good, <laughs> and then you made fun of <laughs> It's not nice to make fun of people. He's going to go home and feel bad about it. He likes it. <laughs>
He likes it. He likes it. Oh, oh wait, it wasn't. Uh, I didn't have it running. Can we do that all? <laughs> Christmas became finger licking good. <laughs> One of the first things you'll see on your tour is this amazing clock that they told Mark he would not be able to get to work again. Yeah. Don't ever underestimate Mark Kloss. I am. I'm totally, I'm totally <laughs> leaving. I'm not kidding. This is, this is crazy. Rich is taking the, there's a whole oh, yeah. bunch of cool animations that'll be going she on. Was she was going she was and I don't know if anybody in here remembers wacky packages, but I'm sacrificing my wacky package collection. It's in my scrapbook there from 50 years ago. I'm putting them on that tower right there. They made fun of, of products. Oh, I remember wacky, wacky pack packages. stickers, yeah. yeah. Tons of know and love. In that glass case over there is the actual buddy puppet used in making the movie. This is going to be our stop motion room. All together with different stop motion stuff, and I just acquired. Did everybody know the heat miser and the freezer? Oh yeah, yeah. he's rocking just, it right here. I just, yeah. I just, I just uh, purchased one of the reindeer from the stop motion animated uh, Miser Brothers movie. Wow! So that'll be cool. Right in, that here, in this room is from Santa Claus the movie, except in here. Right? <laughs> we get to go through Santa's so much. Oh, 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 <laughs> Smaller and shorter for when Buddy is amongst the other elves to really give the impression of a human in an elf's world. Below that is the costume of Susie, the baby of Buddy and Joby you see at the end of the movie. And what elf display would be complete without that gift to someone special? The Gibbles knife down, Buddy sends his father, and the gold box that go went with it. <laughs> and if you... Try to get a shot here of Uncle Heavy getting startled by the falling Frosty. <laughs> Uncle Heavy, he's unstartable. Bo, 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 bo. Uh -oh, there goes Frosty sliding off the roof and smashing into pieces. Welcome to New York City. <laughs> this entire hallway is from Saks Fifth Avenue from 1997, and this is their rendition of the Nutcracker, beautiful Victorian yeah. style. And they work on these for about nine months out of the year, use them six or eight weeks, and destroy them. So that's why Mark is so passionate about trying to get these and keep them, preserve them for y'all to see for years to come. Students in here, and everything is all the the backdrop, everything for. And again, his head has turned into the helmet, and her brother's rocking horse has turned into the Cossack's horses, and they're riding in to do battle. We'll back up the Nutcracker these twice a week. I know you're stunned. I can tell. Yeah. Uh, but if you look at the the design, what they did in these pillars and these archways in here, it's amazing. And the costumes again, and to make, they've got a nutcracker in every one of these, and they have to make this guy's sword. And when they were up getting this, Mark takes a couple of box trucks, up two or three, depending on how many windows they're getting. And um, they had money in the meters, Marshall Field, more Marshall Field, more Christmas around the world, there's dragon. Very Susan. Yes. <laughs> You'll love that to me. Uh, for these guys to design this, make the material, pour it, mold it, sculpt it, and the key is to make it look real. These guys nail it because I get hungry every time. <laughs> <laughs> See, that? some of them look pretty good.
bedroom. And from the movie Grace Still Christmas. So this conveyor belt made out of a high heel. And of course, our shoe tree. None of them really match my eyes, though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> In case you're wondering, Christmas! It's Christmas! In July. Build that and he built it himself. When I get older, losing my hair so many years from now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.